bomb permission on the plains of the Maasai Mara, where the shortest distance can take cars. This time, though, we're not hunting wildebeest. The Mara has one of the largest lion populations in the world, and among so many kings of the wild, here, just one stands out. He even has his own Facebook page. Scarface got his distinctive scar in the fight to take over his pride, and it set him aside from his peers. Actually, some people come and ask where is Scarface, and they don't see the moon, actually. Other people will travel all the way from the United States, and they want to particularly to see that lion. If they don't see that lion, they'll ask you, why is that lion? And you have to provide answer. We've been driving around the entire morning without any luck, and just when we were about to give up, a driver received a radio call that Scarface has been spotted. So let's go and try our luck. And there, hidden in some shrubs, is the celebrity, shielding himself from the sun. This is not his usual hideout. He's walked about 40 kilometers from his home territory, and that walk in itself tells a story. What I would say, it is a landmark that, uh, that tells us how far our animals move. And that actually tells the management how to monitor its own species so that we may tell the world that Scarface is still living, it's not too old, it might have his own challenges because it's becoming a little bit old, maybe about 12 years today. As he licks wounds from yet another fight, you can see why Scarface is king here. He may not know it, but he's captured the hearts of tourists around the world. Penina Karibe, CGTN, at the Masai Mara, Kenya.